Staying in hostels is a lot of fun, but it is very different from staying in a five-star hotel. Here are a few super helpful things that you probably wouldn't think to pack if you've never lived in hostels before. One thing that I was really grateful to have as I was traveling around Europe living in hostels was a hanging toiletry kit. It's basically just a normal toiletry kit that has a hanger on it. And so you can hang it on any type of railing or whatnot. Staying in hostels, you're not always going to have counter space. Having the convenience of being able to carry all your stuff with you and hang it up in a convenient location and just not have to make multiple trips back and forth to your room will be really nice. Another thing that's useful to have in hostels is a backup bag. I prefer these little drawstring bags uh, just because they're cloth and they can fold up super duper small and you can tuck it away in your backpack and it's not gonna be that much extra weight. You can use a bag like this just for your dirty laundry. If you have a bigger backpack that you don't wanna take with you during the day, you could just grab something like this and throw the essentials in there. Also, if you're staying on like the top bunk in a hostel, you can use a bag like this just to hook around the railing. And that can just give you a little extra storage space while you're up there. So that way you don't have to constantly climb down and get to your locker to access your stuff. This next one's a little bit random, but I found myself using it quite a bit. And that would be a little camping spork. If you're staying in hostels, I'm gonna go ahead and assume you might be trying to do things somewhat on a budget. And that means you're gonna be cooking some of your own food. So a lot of hostels will have different utensils and whatnot for you to use, but they don't always. Having something like this just ensures you're always ready to grab a bite to eat and you don't have to eat with your hands like an animal. If you're not incredibly social like myself, you're a little bit more of an introvert, the whole interaction side of staying in hostels can be a little bit intimidating. I found something useful to bring while you travel is just some icebreakers. And by icebreakers, I just mean something like a deck of cards or maybe Uno. There are usually common areas in hostels where people are just hanging out. It's a great place to make connections and make friends. So if you can just start up a game with like one person, other people are naturally gonna be drawn into that. And it can be just a nice, really easy way to start building some friendships. This next item is something I definitely would not want to do without. Once you stay in some hostels, you'll understand why I feel that way. What I'm talking about are earplugs. Hostels are social places, which is great sometimes, but when you're trying to sleep, you kind of want everyone just to shut up and go to bed and be quiet, but people have different schedules, they're doing different things, so you can't always count on your dorm room to be completely quiet when, it, when you're ready to go to sleep. That being said, bringing these earplugs can be a lifesaver, especially if you get pretty angry when you don't get enough sleep. So when people are making noise, you just push these things as far as you can in your ears. If you want total silence, you can also get some earbuds, listen to some music, through the earplugs. I know I've done that before. My next item goes right along with the earplugs. It would be an eye cover. I can remember several occasions while I was traveling that people came in the room in the middle of the night and just turned the lights on. So when you have some good eye covers, you don't have to deal with it. If they turn the light on, you can just put these on and you're suddenly in a deep dark cave especially if you combine it with the earplugs, ain't nothing gonna wake you up. Another super random item that you might use while you stay in a hostel would be a stretchy clothesline. This is exactly as it sounds. It's a really stretchy clothesline and it's got Velcro on the ends so you can just wrap it around all kinds of stuff and secure it. It's kind of braided and so you can break it apart and then like hook clothes inside of that. So if your hostel doesn't have a laundry facility on site, you can combine the stretchy clothesline with a little bottle of concentrated laundry detergent and you can just do your laundry in a sink, which I actually did a few times. This next item is one of the most important things I would say you wanna have with you at a hostel. It is a lock. In general, when you're staying in hostel dorms, you'll feel comfortable and safe, but there are always people looking for opportunities to take things that aren't theirs. Most hostels have lockers where you can lock up your backpacks during the day, but they don't always provide the locks. So having your own lock that you can put on there is gonna be nice. 
If you're bringing any kind of electronics with you on your trip and you're traveling outside of your own country, do a little research to find out whether or not you'll need an adapter for your chargers. So this is the one that I used while I was in Europe. You'll probably be able to find some adapters somewhere when you get to the country that you're traveling to, but they're probably gonna be a little more expensive than if you just ordered them ahead of time online. So again, make sure you have your adapters so you can use your devices. Something else you might wanna have is a power bank that you can charge up beforehand and then have you know a few extra charges for your devices if you're not gonna be near a power outlet. I found that I didn't really use mine all that much when I traveled, but it sure makes you feel a lot better when you're out in the middle of nowhere, knowing that you do have some extra juice should you need it. Something else to have for your electronics would be just extra cables in general for your devices. I happened to lose one of my cables while I was traveling, but I did have another one. So I was fine. I didn't even have to go buy another one. I recommend having at least two cables for the electronic device that you're primarily gonna be using throughout your trip. Something else that might be useful in the hostel would be a microfiber towel. So some hostels don't provide towels for showering or they charge an extra fee for them. So if you have your own towel, that can just be another way to avoid some extra expenses. There are special microfiber towels that are super duper thin that are better for packing in a bag than a large normal traditional towel. Um, they also make little microfiber washcloths like this that pack up really tight. So that's just another one of those toiletry type items that you might wanna have with you. I am not a super big fan of these, but there are a lot of travelers who swear by them and love them. What I'm referring to are the travel packing cubes. They're usually made out of some type of mesh material, but you can put your clothes in them and then zip them up. And then you've got a tidy compartment of like a specific type of clothing that you can pull out of your bag. And that way you don't have to pull everything out. You can just pull out exactly what you want. If you are bringing a bunch of clothes with you, I do see how this could be really useful. If you are packing really light and you're not bringing a ton of clothes, I think you can easily get by without them if you don't want them. Hostels aren't always the most clean locations. Anytime you're staying somewhere where there's a shared shower or shared bathrooms, you're gonna wanna have some flip-flops or some slip-on shoes that you can wear to the bathroom and wear in the shower. This just helps you avoid picking up any germs that could have a negative impact on the rest of your trip. So it's better to be safe than sorry. Bring some flip-flops. On the topic of germs, if you're super concerned about germs in hostels, you might be concerned about the bed that you're sleeping in at night. A bed might look clean, but you still don't always know whether or not they changed the sheets or changed the pillowcases since the last person slept in it. So if you just want to play it completely safe, there are these things out there, they're called sleeping bag liners. And they're basically just like a human pillowcase that is big enough for you to get inside of. And so you can put that down on the bed, get inside of it, and then pull the blankets over you. And that way you have some cloth to sleep on that you know is clean. If you just don't want to depend on the hostels having kept everything clean for you. Those are all the things that I recommend you bring with you. A couple of things you don't wanna bring with you. Number one, anything you know that you're not actually gonna use. Think of things that you actually use in your daily life. Find items that go along with your normal lifestyle because if you're not using it at your house or in your normal life, chances are you probably aren't gonna use it while you're traveling. The next thing you don't wanna bring is just any clothing that you don't absolutely love. When you're traveling, you're just gonna be drawn to those staples that you like. And since you're traveling around a lot, you can wear the same thing multiple days. It doesn't really matter, no one's gonna know. Pick the clothes that you really do like, bring those with you leave the rest of the stuff at home. This will just keep your bag light and make you more mobile and just save your back and knees from a little bit extra weight lugging around your bag all day. If these tips have been helpful for you, please help my channel hitchhike to the top of YouTube's results by smashing that little thumb there, just like a hitchhiker. I wanna know what are your tips for staying in hostels? What are the things you can't live without if you've stayed in hostels or just what are any general tips you might have for someone staying in a hostel for the first time? Just go ahead and leave that down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.